Hi there guys, it's Jack here from Cool Creative Designs and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this um, amazing cool looking banner in Adobe Photoshop CS4 or CS5. I'm in the new CS5 now, so but this will work for CS3, CS4 and CS5. I don't know about CS2. So you want to go File, New and you want to make it 900 by 200. Make sure it's RB, RGB colour. Click OK. So you got it like this, you want to delete the lock layer. And then you'll want to go to Filter, Render, Fibers. And then you'll see this here, and you want to click OK. Once you got it like this, you want to go to the FX down here. Click it, and click Gradient Overlay. So once you've done that, you'll want to click go on this Blend Mode. Go down to Overlay. And you'll see this, and then you'll want to choose one of the rainbows. As you can see, it doesn't look right. I'm going to do this one. And then, while you, when you're here, you just want to click naught, so it just gets it to go sideways. So there you are. And then, to get the um, drop shadow, drop shadow in the middle here, you want to click right click here, click copy layer style. Then you'll want to get this the rectangular marquee tool um, it might look like the elite the elliptical the single row the single column if you make the rectangle you'll want to take about half out or where you want it to be you can have it down here wherever you want um, so it's like that then you'll want to press control C control V and then you'll want to right click on the new layer one and click paste layer style so it's both the same and then once you've done that you want to go yes, to the effects and you're going to click drop shadow and it'll create this drop shadow and then to get a really smart one you want to make this I think it's about seven no sorry nine yeah you want to make the spread about seven and then the size to about I think it's about eighteen so 9, 7, 18, and then click, click OK. And then once you've done that, you're just going to add your text. I'm going to make Pure Create Designs. Oh. And the font I'm using is Bree Light. You can go download that from dafont.com. Make this a bit bigger. It's really matter about the size for now. Um, maybe about 57 works well for the size of my name. Um, then I'm just gonna have to, you can add the slogan underneath. Um, I'm just gonna make this smaller again. Line it up. You can press Control R to get your rulers up. And then you can just line it up so you can just uh, where the end of that is, it'll just stop like that. Um, yeah, so there we are. Once you finish, you'll want to click, oh, sorry, file, save as, and then wherever you're saving it, you want to make sure you save it as a JPEG file and then you'll be able to upload it to your website or youtube or wherever you are so thanks guys and um, please subscribe see ya